Hey guys, Jacob from Make Science Fun here, trying something new today. My first science blog. I'm going to try and do it unedited. I'm thinking about starting a new playlist, like uh, Science Claims Debunked, something like that. You know, you go into the shops and you come across like, you know, these claims like um, batteries that are 50% more efficient or dishwasher powder that cleans 60% more than anything else. I was in the, like this electronic shop this morning. I, I don't want to say which shop it was. I like like little helicopters and little drones and little remote control cars and that sort of stuff. And little robots. Anyway, and the, and the science toys of course. And I came across this baby. And it says it's a salt water fuel cell engine car kit. Look at that. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Hey? Four wheel drive. Awesome. And it says powered by salt water. I'm thinking, powered by salt water? You little ripper. They've obviously solved the world's energy crisis, haven't they? I mean, all we got to do is go to the cupboard, grab out the old salt, and uh, we can power the world. And even if we don't have any salt in the cupboard, look at all the salt in the ocean. Powered by salt water, you little ripper. An entertaining educational kit demonstrating the concept of a salt-powered automotive engine. It gives the next generation a look at alternative means of propelling cars of the future. It works with a combination of salt water and magnesium plates. Ah. Magnesium plates. So we've got a reactive metal that is going to corrode and uh, that is going to power the car. It's not the salt water, folks. It's the magnesium metal corroding. I mean, it takes a lot of energy to go from like bauxite. Oh. Uh, takes a lot of energy to go from bauxite. Here's some bauxite. Woo! Get some of that on you. Little balls of bauxite, looks like clay. Takes a lot of energy to go from bauxite into magnesium. What else does it say? Um, when salt water is added, it dissolves the magnesium to form hydrogen, which is a gas of course, uh, which is attracted to the cathode, creating a flow of electrons, electricity. The finished vehicle is four-wheel drive and the car engine can be configured as a V8 or flat engine. The body will twist as it navigates its way over small pebbles and bumps. Green energy. Hmm. Green energy sort of indicates that it's renewable. Well, how did they get the magnesium, hey? Did they use renewable energy for that? I don't know. Not actual size. That's probably one of the only true claims on this box, I think. Powered by salt water. Hmm. Assembly time. Three hours? You may require the use of a side cutter and flat Phillips head screwdrivers. What do you mean you may require the use? What, am I going to use my teeth or something? Got some blue things. Blue plastic. This looks like the treads of the wheel. Soft and rubbery, cool. And then the wheels and junk, more stuff like that, okay. And, oh, let's pop that there. Instruction manual, and then the electronic stuff. Got some uh, gears and a little electric motor, a little bit bigger than one found in most mobile phones. 
and some form of black plate, probably, oh, and some pieces of magnesium and some tissue paper, little, some more gears and that sort of stuff. Okay, so, how about I get to work, eh? Okay, don't connect the wires to the mains. Yeah, like I really need to know that. Oh, I wonder if I can plug that into the PowerPoint. As if. All, right. All materials used in this kit are environmentally safe. That's environmentally safe, is it? Hey? Environmentally safe. I mean, how could you call that environmentally safe? I mean, that's plastic, for goodness sake. No toxic substances or disposal concerns. Okay. This is a concept of an environmentally and friendly fuel cell engine kit car. The kit will teach children about new forms of clean energy. Um, it's a really just a battery, I think. Be amazed that just by adding a few drops of salt water, the car's engine will start to run as, by, as if by magic. See how a V8 engine runs. There are other exciting activities to explore. Day two. So let's chop. Alright, now we're rolling. Alright. I think I've done it. It's the Mighty Gearbox assembly. Oh, sugar. Sugar. Over the page. Oh, bit of electronics, bit of electronics. So, about 15 minutes later, Sam's come to help me, haven't you, Sam? Yeah. Hey? Yep, he says. Look at that. That's like the. See the pistons going in and out, Sam? Chugga chugga. Chugga 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 chugga. How cool is that, eh? I'm going to put together the, the power source, the air cathode, and Pop in the air cathode, black side up, and then some non-woven fabric on top. Feels a bit like filter paper. And then on top of that goes the magnesium sheet. There we go. Aha! Click. There we go. And it looks like there's some bare magnesium so that when this magnesium runs out you can replace it mm. so is it salt powered or is it magnesium reactive metal powered Sam's gonna click the the wheels into a circle aren't you Sam? it's hard it's hard? Yeah. shall I show you how to do it? Yeah. so now do you want to oh, put that knife down Six year olds can't play with knives. Ah ha! Click! That's better. Click all the shears, boys! Click, 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 Can't turn it on. Ah. There's no switch. No, you're gonna put a switch on. No, 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 I'm not gonna put a switch on. I don't think there is a switch with this one. How is it gonna work? I think we have to add some salt water. Then put the wheel on. No, nah, other way around. 20% salt and 80% water. So, Sam, you're going to add some salt. That's it. I'll give it a little stir. Give it a little stir. Okay, suck up some salty water. And put some of that salty water on that fabric. That's it. Oh, lots of salty water there. Salt powered car. And it's connected and Oh oh Sam <gasps> Sam Look at this Sam Woo it's working It's not very fast yet come on come on come on come on Here we go Well oh, it's just taking a little bit for the reaction to take place Brum, 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 brum. Look at that. Salt water powered. 
Is it salt water powered, Sam? Yeah. No, it's not. The salt water just acts as an electrolyte for this like battery. It's actually magnesium powered and the magnesium is slowly corroding and you're basically harnessing the electrons as the magnesium corrodes. I'm going to show you where the energy actually comes from. Here's, it comes from gas. Here's, it comes from gas. It doesn't come from the salt water. It comes from this magnesium ribbon. And I'm going to get this magnesium. You're watching, Sam? Come on. Start, Start burning. Oh, there we go, Sam. That's where the energy comes to run the car. Not from the salt water. Oh, put your goggles on, mate. Smoke. Not from the salt water, but from the magnesium, which contains a lot of energy. And do you know where that whoa, energy whoa. came from? Probably a coal-powered fire station. Whoa. 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 Ooh, a few little explosions. Yo. Oh, you got your goggles on, mate? Yep. Good. So, was this car salt pack? Whoa. Whoa. Was this car salt powered? No. no. It was magnesium ribbon powered and we had a lot of fun, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. So anyway, always check scientific claims. Thanks for joining us today. We had a good time, didn't we, Sam? Mm-hmm. And we made a good toy. All right, we'll see you guys again soon. Bye for Bye. now. Bye.